Hey, my name is Stephen May and welcome to That Show with Mahi. Today I'm speaking with the wonderful Leia Howard and I asked her the question, how can a music theatre performer create a successful self-tape? Enjoy. All right, hello there. Hi, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Thanks for joining me on this. Um, so the question that I'm asking is, how can a music theatre performer create a successful self-tape? It's, it's just, you know, it's such a hard question um, because it's not our medium. Our medium is live theatre, correct? Yeah. Um, and to, in order to feel what could be a possibility on stage in a live setting is really different to what is a, a film or a television medium where we're coming through cameras and lenses. So, you know, for me personally, I always just, I feel for us as actors as well as, you know, creatives watching it because that we just have that barrier. We really have that barrier and that the ability to connect from a, a real visceral and a real energy um, type of way. So, uh, you know, it is, it's going to be a challenge for us, but we really have to do it, you know? So, you know, I, I feel like we, we have, we have to just be truthful and honest in what we're delivering for the musical theatre audition piece or whatever you're doing as a screen test, <clears throat> excuse me. And um, it's, if you're honest within your work, in that room, it's gonna have to portray, you know, we're gonna have to feel a glimpse of that energy, you know, and I don't know, is it that thing where, you know, you're told when you're doing film and television, you have to push that energy up a little further, as you do on the stage when you're hitting the back room of the theatre, of course, but, um, you know, sometimes that can be too far, you yeah. know, when you're auditioning, you know, so you're going a bit over the top, as we like to say, um, and it won't read well, because obviously you're trying to connect without connecting to your story or your song or the story in the song that you're recording. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> so in your experience, have you, have you seen self-tapes before and gone, oh, like, that, like, hey, I know this person and I know what they can yes. do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's absolutely. Not that. Absolutely. And that is the hardest thing. It's like, because if something is, I, I always think if something is a self tape first, before we arrive to get into a room and have a play, it's hard because you go, oh, they're not going to do that in the room. They're going to be completely different. They're going to be, yeah, like that. Because you ha I guess you have a lot of extra nerves coming through with a self tape because once you hit send, that's gone. And yeah. you know, yeah. You don't have, you can't just write on the email, oh, and here are my notes for my self-tape. Um, please know that I was really feeling this or, you know, I was really portraying these, are, you know. So it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a hard one because you, I don't think we get that first initial impression from a self-tape than what you do in the room, you know, and that's that thing of when you enter a room and you're very good at doing this, Stephen, you enter the room with such a bundle of energy and joy and your personality. We see you straight from the moment you open that door. Yeah. Right. You know, it's, yeah. That's, I feel like that's a really hard thing to do on a self tape because you open that door and it's <laughs> hi, I'm Leah Howard. <laughs> that's not me. Yeah. You know, so do, I guess do we as um, creators need to find a way that like our slate, like the first slate is like bringing that essence of I'm in a room and there's, you know, five or six different people and that's what I'm going to try and portray, but not necessarily, you know, barrel down the lens, but also maybe just, you know, really invite people to come and like be like that. I think that's a really great idea actually, you know, and I think it's, that's the probably it's almost that thinking of going, okay, well, let's, the root, the camera is the panel. Yeah. Let's walk into this room and keep the space open, keep it ready for me to play in, ready for me to do what I would do in the room if everyone was sitting there. I think that's a really great, I, you know, thought process in the way of getting your musical theatre self tapes across because then you're going to be free. You're going to do exactly what you do. You're going to have the space to move rather than us chopping it in here. And obviously, you know, you'll need a couple of tapes because we will need a close up. We will need, you know, uh, you know, we can have a wide range. I think having a wide range of the room probably allows the creatives to watch you 
watch you in the space you know it's almost like you know i guess screen screen tests for musical theater auditions could just go for 10 minutes you know just hit record and get in that room and just play play with the yeah. script play with the scene do it do it a few times you know it's yeah it's it almost has to be a virtual audition room doesn't it yeah, absolutely. I mean, and I guess that's the questions a lot of people are going to ask is, you know, should I just give them two or three takes or should I just hit record? I mean, that, that's, that'd be quite um, an interesting sort of um, project. Like we've got time that we could probably just go, all right, I've got my camera set up. I'm going to hit record. And then I'm just going to kind of give them a, a version of what I think I'm supposed to be doing. Absolutely. I mean, you know, for me, I don't think that's wrong. I, I like, you know, Yes, it, it, and that's the thing you said. We've got the time. We yeah. have time. You know, no one's going anywhere in a hurry. Um, yeah. And you know, and we have the ability to fast forward, rewind, watch again. You know, like so. I don't think there's any harm in doing that, just in order to capture the playfulness, storytelling, the you know, the 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 the, the different types of 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 emotions and things. And and you know, it, I just. I do. I feel like more than ever is the time where you can have your longest audition <laughs> screen test in the world. You know, your dream audition where you're just in there for four hours. Why not? You yeah. Know, like... <laughs> oh, hour three and a half hours. I was just, I was killing it, babe. I was ready. I was on there. <laughs> <laughs> totally. You know, but I do. I just feel like, you know, just give it a try. And, and we have to, I think, you know, as uh, from the actor's point of view, we have to try it and we have to ask and we have to ask the creatives, you know, for notes and get that feedback and be able to have three or four takes of playing. Why not? You do it in the audition room anyway. You know, mm -hmm. you do. The director will give you some notes and then you'll get up again and you'll have another go. Or you might add some other elements into it that will help your um, audition piece and it's I just I, I think you know look let's not go crazy and do three or four hours but you know give yourself a good 20 minutes in the room and, and just yeah like go for it you know and you have the ability to cut that down and they have the ability to fast forward and they have you know it doesn't have to be as instant if anything this you know um, this time is telling us that we don't have to be that crazy busy we don't always have to just get everything instantly you know we yeah. have time yeah. so do what feels right and you know and you know you always walk out of an audition and go oh, I feel great about that or I don't feel great about that and you can have those feelings still in your virtual audition room I believe yeah so in a nutshell we're kind of thinking that that um, personal and your personality needs to come across like absolutely because that's what we 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 love that tangible thing when we're in the room that you bring that personality to it um, maybe Absolutely. We to uh, give ourselves a bit of time, realise that a few takes is okay, or even, you know, sort of maybe not your, your novel of your notes, but just say, this is take one of this scene, and I re but I really love sort of this kind of version at the end. Um, and then, yeah, maybe we'll keep asking the questions for some other people, and I'll try and get some creatives that watch them day in, day out, and they might be like, you know what, I don't have time. But great questions to be asked and great things that we've... Uh, covered so thank you very much yeah definitely awesome Stephen thank you for having me no thanks for being here <laughs> yep.